A London court has rejected the naval war room leak accused Ravi Shankara's plea against extradition. In a bid to close in on the prime accused in the case, the CBI will now be filing an extradition request which will be decided by UK Home Secretary. For the past seven years, Ravi Shankaran has been evading the Indian law. But now his luck seems to be running out. A London court has rejected Shankaran's plea against extradition to India. Today, the judge has sent the, uh, Mr. Shankaran's case to the Secretary of State for her decision as to whether to order his extradition. Um, she will have two months in which to make that decision. Um, should the decision be to order Mr. Shankaran's extradition to India, then we can indicate that we will be appealing the decision of the judge today. And now UK's Home Secretary Theresa May will decide on CBI's request for his extradition. Ravi Shankaran is now on bail. There are four conditions for his bail. He has to deposit a sum of £20,000 as surety. His passport will be detained by the Metropolitan Police. He has not been allowed any international travel and he will live at the address that has been registered by the police. Ravi Shankaran, a former naval commander, is wanted in India. In connection with leaking defence secrets to arms dealers, he's been absconding ever since the CBI registered a case in 2006. And after he was traced to the UK, CBI has been trying to get him extradited. Seven years is a long time, but the CBI now believes they can get Shankaran back to India. They have a lot of questions for Shankaran. And they believe Shankaran, importantly, has all the answers. CBI is now hoping that the British government gives its nod for Ravi Shankaran's early extradition to unravel the conspiracy behind the Navy war room leak. Bureau Report, Times Now.